and share an activity that you can do during the summer that you wouldn't be able to do during the winter. Kahi? Oh, we could make a tree house. Make a tree um, house? Do, do ice cream and eat ice cream that you and swimming in the pool. Okay, swimming would be a good one. Can share another one, Katie. Um, you can ride your bike. You can jump. Around. Just swim. Just swim. Okay, so ride a bike. That's a good one, Wyatt. Um, you can have water balloon fight. Ooh, a water balloon fight. We wouldn't want to do that during the winter, would we? Uh -uh. No, because it'll be chilly. Yeah, the water will turn into ice. Cream. So I'll just put um, play in the water down below. Okay. So now let's think about winter activities. Who can share an activity that you would only be able to do in the winter, Allie? Ooh, a snow angel. Ooh, a snow angel. So maybe we could say play in the snow. Helen? Uh, go sledding. Sled? Okay, does anybody have an, a different idea of an activity we could do other than playing in the snow or sledding? Benny? Snowman. A snowman? So playing in the snow. We'll add snowman. Okay. And Ashley? Yep, so playing in the snow with snowball fight. <laughs> so let's look at these. What do you know that's different about these two, about summer and winter, just by looking at this T-chart? Asher? Um, in the summer, the leaves are green, and in the winter, the leaves are green. Yep, that's a good observation. But what, what about this T-chart? When you look up here, when you see this side versus this side, do you see anything different, Mackenzie? Summer has more and winter has not a lot. Exactly. So you can do more activities in the summer than you can in the winter, right? Why do we think that is? Okay, so now let's think about this picture right here, okay? So every, I want everybody to look at this picture. What do you see that's different about the tree in the summertime and in the wintertime? Katie? Um, that the summer yeah, exactly. So during the summer, there's leaves on the trees. And in the winter time, the trees are bare, huh? Have you ever wondered why the days seem longer in the winter and why the sun is out longer in the summertime than it is in the winter time? That's what we're going to find out today. It's known as rotation. Let's see why we have days and nights. Let's assume this globe is our Earth and this lamp is the sun. Now, look closely. The light is shining only on one side. This is day. Now look at the other part and you can see it's dark. This is night. When the Earth rotates, day changes to night and night changes to day. That's how the rotation of the Earth causes day and night. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Look at this map. India and the United States are on opposite sides. The Earth takes a whole day to make one rotation, which is a total of 24 hours. That's why when there is day in India, there is night in the United States. And when there is day in the United States, there is night in India. Similarly, when there is day in China, there's night in Colombia, because these are situated on opposite sides of the Earth. Let's learn some fun facts about day and night. The Earth is always spinning around, and it takes 24 hours for the Earth to complete one rotation. Daytime is from the time of sunrise until sunset. Nighttime is from the time the sun sets until the sun rises. 
the shortest day of the year is known as the winter solstice. The longest day of the year is known as the summer solstice. The sun so we have the sun go up in the morning and down at night is one whole day. So as the earth rotates on its own, it also rotates around the sun. How on the top part where we live, the sun's not really directly shining on it, is it? Yeah, so if we rotate the earth around, it, it rotates around the sun every year. So this would be winter time for us, where the sun is shining more on the bottom part of the earth. But as we rotate around the sun and we get over here, notice how the light is more directly on where we live and now the bottom part of the earth, the sun isn't really shining on them very much. Do plants grow better in the summer or in the winter? Okay, talk with your teammates. If you think it's winter, if plants grow better in the winter, push the red button. If they grow better in the summer, push the blue button. You are too human. Jaden, you need to pass. Jaden, you need to pass the iPad. So who who can tell me why plants grow better in the summer, Helen? Um, because uh, there's more sunlight and water. Exactly, because there's more sunlight and water. Okay, Which so season would the days be longer for more time to play outside? So remember what we talked about with the globe and the sun. If you think it's summer, <laughs> they're faster than me. Good job. So why, who remembers why the days are longer in the summer? Does anybody remember why they were longer in the summer? Asher? Because it rotates. Yeah, because the earth rotates. Mackenzie? Because there's more and more sun. There's more sun in the summertime, right? Good job. Which season does it get darker earlier? If you think it gets darker earlier in the winter, push the red button. If it gets darker earlier in the summer, push the blue button. Good job. Yes. So going back to what Asher and Mackenzie just said, it gets darker earlier in the winter because we have less sunlight because of our earth rotating. All right, last question. Think about what season we are in right now, okay? Are the days longer or shorter? I know. If you think they're longer, push the red button. Shorter, push the blue button. Good job. Good job. So the days, what season are we in right now? Winter. Winter. And so the days are shorter. Good job, guys.